All right, let's take a look at a word problem involving the law of signs. All right, so we have a man and a woman both standing 3.2 miles apart from one another. Um, and then they're looking kind of in the middle and they see a hot air balloon. It's up in the sky um, and they see it at the exact same time. So it hasn't floated one direction or the other. And then they measure their angle of elevation. So I guess I have the man standing at A. He's looking up at this hot air balloon. It's 30 degrees for his angle of elevation. We've got this woman standing over here at B. She looks up at the hot air balloon that's up here at C and uh, 43 degrees angle of elevation. What we want to do is find the altitude of this balloon to the nearest foot. So we eventually want to find the height, right? How tall this balloon is up above. So to get going on this, I've kind of drawn a triangle, labeled things. Um, we're 3.2 miles apart. I've just gone ahead and drawn a triangle. All right, it's not to scale or anything like that. It's just a triangle, but labeling these things does help. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is let's try to get the law of signs involved. Um, to use the law of signs, you have to have as an opposite pair, like an opposite angle and side length. At this point, we don't know all of our side lengths um, and we don't know of all of our angles. Because we know two of our angles, we can calculate the third angle because these always have to add up to 180 degrees. So angle C will be 180 minus 30 degrees minus 43 degrees, which works out to be 107 degrees. So 107 degrees to go around this far. All right, next up, what we can do is we can calculate one of these side lengths, either B or C. Um, I'm going to go ahead and elect to get B by using the law of sines. So to do so, I'm going to get side B over sine of angle B, the opposite angle. It's going to be 43 degrees. And then um, we know both of the C's. So I'm going to go with 3.2 miles divided by sine of the 107 degrees that we just calculated. And then to isolate B and get it on one side all by itself, the only unknown in this equation, we can multiply both sides by sine of 43 degrees. Sorry, it's getting right into this formula a little bit. All right, but that'll put B on one side all by itself. Move over slightly. We have 3.2 multiplied by sine of 45, 43 degrees divided by sine of 107 degrees. All right, as we put this into our calculator, we can get B is going to be approximately, I guess I should say, 2.28211. All right, and that, as a reminder, is still in miles because our other side length here is also in miles. All right, next goal is we, can, we could find A. We don't really need A. Um, and initially we could have solved for A instead of solving for B. I just chose to solve for B first. All right, we don't actually need the distance between the woman and the hot air balloon. Um, so we wanna find this height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that value we just found and kind of draw a second triangle. So what I'm trying to do on this is I'm just taking the left-hand side, I'm making a right triangle out of this um, from our hot air balloon directly down to the ground. We wanna find that height. So I'm gonna label everything, bring our information over. We just found B and we know this angle. So we can draw a right triangle that corresponds with our situation. Sorry, I'm not great at drawing triangles, but from here, what we wanna do is we wanna find H, that height. So because it's a right triangle now, we're allowed to use our trigonometric ratios. So this would be labeled as the opposite and the hypotenuse from the angle 30. So we can say opposite over hypotenuse, well, that's the same as sine of 30 degrees is going to be H, the height, over uh, the hypotenuse is 2.28211. Um, and I know it's labeled B because that's what it was in the, uh, the triangle up above, but this would be the hypotenuse as opposed to like A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, to get H by itself, we'll multiply both sides by 2.28211. Therefore, isolating H. And then if we put this into our calculator, I'm keeping quite a few decimal places for good reason on this. I got 1.141055. 
Now that's going to be in miles because this side length was in miles. On this question though, we were actually asked to find to the nearest foot, how, what's the altitude of this balloon? So right now we're in miles. We need to do one extra step where we convert from miles over into feet. So I'm going to take that value we found. It's in miles. We want to convert to feet. So we have to use a conversion factor that one mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. Therefore, we set it up in this direction so that we have miles being multiplied, miles being divided. And this works out to be to the nearest foot, 6,025 feet. All right, hope this helps out on setting up uh, these word problems. For most of these word problems, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna have to set up the second triangle where you wanna make it into a right triangle to find whatever this height is or the distance um, back to the ground. All right, so I hope this helps out on setting these up and solving it down. Good luck as you're working through them.